You're about to take an interesting journey through the topology of a Mobius strip. And very quickly, this is a little paper. It's got two edges, one inside, one outside. Two surfaces are in it. Two edges up and are down. Cut in the middle, you get two separate things. Mobius strip has um, one surface, one edge. You cut it down the middle, and you end up with um, a loop, which is right here. This loop has four twists. It has two surfaces and two edges. The equation to tell you how many twists after cutting Mobi strip is 2n plus 2. So with one twist, it's 2 plus 2 is 4. But if you add three twists in Mobi strip, so it's 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 is 8. Um, if you cut it by one third, the middle one third stays as the original one foot Mobi strip, but then you can see the loop with four twists in it. Um, you can add intersection. You can see how it wants to intersect itself. Um, and it'll half snip to the plane, and then you get five different um, frame graphs. They're all very separate. However, with their chiral, there's clockwise and counterclockwise, and there's two types of these where the surfaces can switch themselves. So this can be red or it can be blue. So there's five, and there's two varieties, there's ten, and then there's counterclockwise and clockwise. So there's 20 different um, frame graphs that you get. Here's the frame graphs. There's two vertices. Um, there's four edges and three faces. Uh, I've cut this one here by one third. I left the, the original middle one third. You can see where it comes from. You can also cut it in a different um, plane. Normally I'm cutting it in this plane, but you can see you can cut it in this plane as if the paper can be split. That one's been cut by a third. This one's been cut by one half. You can see I've just parred in the middle. So you can see by adding a new cut, you add a new surface. You can see it's blue on the inside. So when you add an edge, you add a new surface. Here's a three-foot Mobius strip. Um, when you cut that down the middle by one-third, you get um, the original one-foot Mobius strip, which is right here. It's got three flips in it. And you get a bigger loop that's twice the length. It comes from, it comes from here and here. That has two edges, two surfaces, and it has a trefoil knot tied around the original one-third three-flip mobile strip, which is right here. Um, usually I just cut that away, or I just don't bother, I just cut it down the middle because it's kind of the same. So you can see there's eight twists in it and a trefoil knot. Here's the trefoil knot. Um, I've added two crossings. That's four twists cancel cancels. So there's four twists in that trefoil knot. Then I can usually lay them on a page. I can draw a knot diagram. So there's two, there's three types of uh, knots that you get when you cut a three-foot motion in the middle. There's the, the group that I call the non-alternating figure of eight. There's the trefoil group that's got a trefoil knot. And there's the, the coil or the braid group. And here's what I mean by a non-alternating figure eight knot. There's a trefoil knot. And here's the coil, the coil or the braid group. There's a whole bunch of different knots that I've, I've found. I'm still trying to count them. I'm trying to find a polynomial approximation of them. There's a whole bunch of trefoil knots. And then if we go on to the braid group, the coil group, which I find more interesting, I've colored this Mobius strip right here. I've cut it down the middle and I've organized it with four coils there. To get the coil where it nests in itself, this loop here has to be flipped over itself to um, enclose all four, the four other ones. You can see when it's done right, all the boundaries are the same on the inside. They're all red on the inside. And they're all blue on the outside. This is the braid that represents that coil. There's one cross that goes from here to here. And you can see that. That's this one here. It goes from this far edge to this far edge and surrounds it. Um, I've drawn the knot diagram for this one right here. It's right here. It's got six crossings like, like the other ones. And you can take it apart with Whitney tricks where you take the manifold and pull it through itself as if it's invisible. And you get to avoid making sharp bends and pinching off things. Um, the middle loop here next has been pulled outside. This one here has been pulled outside to get this. And this last loop is pulled across right here. You can see you get this figure right here. That's not an unknot. It has um, four loops. And those four loops represent the eight twists that were was originally in this manifold. With the other groups, the trefoil group, you can take them apart with Whitney tricks and you can get the unknot. And the figure eight group, you can, like here for example, this has been ducked across right here, it's now outside. And this has been ducked across out here. And then 
you can pull the edge across itself, and when you pull this out, you get the unknot. But these don't make unknots, the braid groups. Um, well, I wanted to think of a way to make a new Mobius strip, so I took three different planes, connected them in a north and a south pole, then I gave them one flip each. And I didn't invent this manifold, it was pet um, P2 from YouTube, but right away I knew that by dissecting it and adding some intersections, I could create a Mobius strip, and it was close. Um, it's been cut down the middle. Uh, this figure has one edge, but it has two surfaces, so it's not really a Mobius strip. You can see it's been dissected here. There's little corners where it meets at the pole, but I've taken the corners out so it can lie flat. There's a knot diagram from the, the 3D mo mo Mobius strip. It's got a tree form out up here, but it only has two loops. It should have three loops, so something's not right about it. Um, and basically, I've been exploring that that new manifold. Here it is here. This is a knot diagram from a three-dimensional Mobius strip, or just call that manifold a three-dimensional Mobius strip. And here is one of my knot diagrams from my three-foot Mobius strips. The knot notation is identical. It goes 1 minus 1, 2 minus 2, 3 minus 3 minus 4, 5 minus 6, 4 minus 5, 6. And that represents the, the, the knot notation. They're identical, but you can see the, the layout's different. The loops on the outside here, they're on the inside here. So that means that you cannot put together this to make a three-foot motion. For example, if you can connect this edge to this edge, it would go together to form a Mobius strip had these loops been in the right orientation. For example, when I compare two other knots, this here is the three-dimensional Mobius strip knot, this here is the three-flip Mobius strip knot. The crossings here are the same orientation for the tree fold knot, but the crossings here are opposite. They're plus, minus, minus, plus, plus, minus. So because this tree fold knot is backwards, it will not go together to form a three-flip Mobius strip, which is really disappointing. I tried to correct that by making um, the, the planes intersect differently. They're on one axis here, but here they're on another axis, the opposite axis. I've cut it down the middle, and um, I've got this knot diagram. Uh, I tried to uh, connect them differently. I connected two with clockwise, one with counterclockwise, cut it in the middle, and you get this figure, which is really annoying. So, because, because this tree foil knot is backwards, this manifold, when it's cut down the middle, cannot have its edges put together to create a three-foot Mobius strip. Um, however, when you have the, the coil, the knot diagram, you, when you take it apart with Whitney tricks, you can see the eight twists that are in it. Well, that's enough talking from me. Maybe I'll still look for another way to create a Mobius strip. And then we're supposed to look at my notebook glass. Ow, I stepped on something. Glass. Mm, there's nothing more I need to add. Yeah, so the topology of a Mobius strip uh, is very beautiful, I believe.